I want you guys to get a good look at the baby. Hey dolls, welcome to my channel. Today I want to do a review of this Dragonfly Glaze paint I bought at Michael's a couple months ago. I have it in the Red Violet Blue Shift. If you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. As always, there will be a full list of supplies I used along with links for where to get them in the description box. If you're not interested in hearing my review and you just want to see what to do, I have the times listed in the description box as well. So this is the paint that I'm going to be reviewing. It is the Dragonfly Glaze from the Folk Art brand of paint. It is in the shade Red Violet Blue Shift and um, the size is two fluid ounces, 59 milliliters. Um, I paid $4.99 for this at uh, Michael's and it says indoor outdoor gloss finish color changing top coat. So this is meant to be a top coat. This is supposed to go over another color. The instructions say, shake well for a more dramatic effect. Apply three or more coats. Let dry two hours between coats. Cures in 24 hours. Clean tools while wet with soap and water. Covers approximately five square feet. Which is actually a lot for this small little bottle. My reaction to it is I, I actually love it. I think this is um this is really nice. What attracted me to it was the sparkles which I don't think is really picking up in the camera too well but it's it's super sparkly and glittery and I'm just a sucker for like anything shiny. <laughs> uh, so when I seen it so I was like oh yeah I definitely gotta try this and the, the violet and blue shift will look really good in my living room. Another thing I like about it is that a little bit goes a long way. I use this tiny little bottle to paint um, like four different objects and I probably did, no I didn't do three coats each object, maybe like two, but um, it goes a really long way and I still have like about 50% left in this small little bottle. The only thing that I don't like about it is um, when I painted over white because since it says red, violet, and blue, I painted um, something over, I painted this, put this top coat over something red, something violet, it, oh, dang it. I painted over something red, something violet, and something blue. And um, I also tried putting it over white because um, this, the paint itself is actually white and it's pretty sheer so I wanted to see what it would look like over white and I didn't really like it over white because even with like three coats you still couldn't really see it. Other than that though I think everything is good with it. I really really enjoy it a lot. I would totally recommend this paint. You should try it for um, I think it's really good for paper crafts. Um, I tried it over glass and it came out okay. I um, put it over uh, cardboard. It was good so you could get a lot of good use out of this product.
I started out using the um, the roller sponge brush because I thought that it would um, be good to use uh, to distribute the paint evenly since it's like a sheer paint but I didn't really like it that much so I switched to the paint brush which is a little bit better at um, distributing the paint over the surface but of course there's always streaks from the paintbrush and I cannot stand streaks. I used another sponge to see if uh, it would be better than the the uh, the sponge roller brush, which it really wasn't that great. I didn't like it too much, so I went back to the roller sponge brush, and I think this is like the third coat of it, and it definitely works much better after um, you know coating the full surface and then getting rid of those streaks. It's that's what it's best for just getting rid of the streaks not to like actually apply the paint to the surface 